looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the best set in Madden 21, guys. Now, because of the Super Bowl promo and the new Super Bowl Master sets, we do have some new sets to go over. So I'm super excited to go over this. Super excited to check out the sets. Well, I'm not checking them out. I've been through them. Super excited to go over the math, you guys. Now, here's the thing. The sets, as per usual, are going to be the Super Bowl Master sets or any kind of Master set. I'm going to go over the math, the one I prefer, and I'll explain why. Right, before we get into today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and of course, guys, as always, if you haven't already, it helps out the channel a lot. Like the video and always comment down below. Let me know who down below. Who's your favorite Master? Is it Namath or is it Perry? Is it neither? And who's winning the Super Bowl? So far, consensus is the Chiefs. That's what I'm hearing in my comment section. But let's keep it going. But uh, yeah, let's get into the video, guys. And if you need coins to do this set or anything like that, head over to Mutt Reserve and use code Poodle. Pick up some coins. They've never been cheaper. But guys, I did want to throw this into this video because it did come out as some pretty big news. So if you guys can see right here, EA Sports did tweet out, for those who stopped believing, EA Sports College Football is back, guys. NCAA College Football, the video game, if you guys remember back from you know, the last one, I think it was 2014, it is back. That is one of the most excited, most hyped, most sought after missed games in a recent memory in terms of sports gaming guys people have been wanting this game back for what feels like forever i used to play it again i was much younger back then so i didn't know too much about college football but i love the game it was fun creating your own franchise player was way more fun in there than it is in madden in terms of getting out of high school going through college playing to the national championship looking at recruitment you know all that stuff that was always so much fun and then they can also now add the implementation where it goes back to the nfl right you get recruited into the nfl or drafted from that point on you do import it right if they can do that whole feature again could really be a really good immersive mode and everything but guys this is huge news it's trending right now everyone is super focused on what is about to be one of the bigger comebacks in sports gaming in a while i've people love it like people truly do love this game i hear people to this day all they talk about you know oh, i play madden but if you know if any if, if ncaa was back i'd be done with madden or you know, all I miss is that. And it makes you wonder, right? Like, you know, it's cool and all. Madden's the real deal, right? That's that's the NFL, right? But no, th there's a fan base for this. And it's, even I, I'm excited for it. It's going to be fun. Going to definitely have some fun franchise modes. And they used to have Ultimate Team. So if they bring back Ultimate Team on there as well, sky's the limit for this game. Going to be fun. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this segment of the video. Let's get back to our set aspect of it. But yeah, enjoy. Let's get into it. So past sets. We have Joe Namath and William Perry. Now, in terms of which master would you rather have, which doesn't always matter for this method, you probably prefer, I don't I don't know, it's tough, because one's a defensive tackle, one's a quarterback, and Namath doesn't get all the abilities you may want. It comes down to preference. So let's go into the sets and look at the other uh, the other factors. So, we got Bob Sanders right here. Great player, can definitely use him, right? Because you get these players back as Nats, so let's compare usable players. Can use him. Trey Flowers, can use him, right? He's an end. He got, he got, he has some good stats, decent speed, you can use him. Corey Littleton and Lance Briggs are the problem, right? They're going to be slower linebackers with decent zone. Littleton's actually pretty good at coverage. But the issue is, I don't know if you get three usable players. Just a little thin. If you use middle linebackers, guys, he has good block shit, good zone, good hit power. You you can use him. So I would say we get usable little thin uh, for you know decent teams. Little thin, Trey Flowers and Bob Sanders. But Lance Briggs really isn't usable, considering he only has an 80 zone with similar speed. So there's that. You get about two to three usable players there. Joe Namath set. Keaton McCardle's not really usable. 93 speed, powered up 94. He's maybe usable. Not a fan. David Deal definitely startable at um at your guard spot. For sure, you can use him. Um, it's up to you guys, but I think he's usable. He's a left guard. James White, as a backup running back, not bad at all, considering he can get he gets a 93 speed, 95 excel. He's usable as a backup running back or a receiving back. So there is some use for him. And then, of course, there is going to be Brandon Cooks, who, of course, is usable with a 96 speed. Probably the best player of both the sets, give or take, him and Bob Sanders. So you get all the route running. You get the speed. You get everything else. Not a bad player at all. And, of course, he can be powered up. So once you get that decided, guys, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be showcasing the Joe Namath set just because of the fact that I do. I think people prefer Brandon Cooks and David Deal over the other guys. So how much does this set cost you to do, right? Let's start with that. So again, never buy them for the face value. You said you can get them for like 150, 155. Let's go 155 for this guy because, again, if you're spending base value, you're doing it wrong. You just sit there for a few minutes and get the cheaper price. You know, 10K here, 10K there adds up to 40K at the end. So David Deal, again, 130 so so far we were at 285k let's see we got james white 113 uh, going down and then of course we do have brandon cooks which comes out to 130. so 528k 
That's how much the set costs. Now, let's go check out the price of Joe Namath, because you do get Joe Namath back, and you get four of the players all back nat, right? So, pending the price of Joe Namath, the set could be highly profitable. It could just end up being highly great useful or just a great value in general. Typically, it ends up being highly valuable. And if you sell the master profitable because you do end up getting players for super cheap versus paying for them. So let's go to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl pass. So we have, let's see what we got. We got to filter this out by a quarterback, of course, because we're going to Joe Namath here. So Joe Namath is 270, right? So 528s are total for how much everything's going to cost. And it's 270 you sell them for. So you get about 250 back after reduction. 278. It's going to cost you 278. So you paid 278K and you sold Joe Namath, right? That leaves you with four players. Are those four players worth 278k? Maybe not. But here's the key. The key is this. Coming over to missions. Go to Super Bowl. You get to tier five. You get a free 94 overall Super Bowl past zero. Choose Keenan McCardle. Let's go back. The, co the cost is 528 total, right? Keenan McCardle cost you 160. You now have him for free. Subtract 160 off the total. The set cost you 368 to do. Subtract the price of uh, Joe Namath 250. The set cost you 118k. So for the price of 118k. You're going to get Joe. Um, uh, sorry. After selling Joe Namath for 118k, you get. Let's see. Keenan McCardle, David Deal, James White, and Brandon Cooks. Right. So let's start method one here. Method one is you sell first off, get your free player. Take the most expensive guy, which I think is Keenan McCardle. Second, you're gonna come into the set. You're going to instantly sell Joe Namath. That's method one. Now you have Keenan McCardle, David Deal, Brandon Cooks, and James White. Now let's say right, you were gonna buy Brandon Cooks. Right, you wanted Brandon Cooks. He's a good player. You wanted him. You went to go buy him. He's 136K. So instead of spending 136K for Brandon Cooks, how about instead you spend 118, you save 20K, and you get Brandon Cooks, James White, David Deal, and Keenan McCardle, four startable players that can be powered up, chemmed up some of them, all the way up and help your team out tremendously, right? It's a no-brainer. That's method one. Now, method two is if you don't want all of them. So again, you do the math again. comes out to 118. Now, you only want to keep Brandon Cooks and David Deal. So what you do is you quick sell. Uh, Keenan McCardle, and you quick sell James White, and you use their values on the on you know on the in the store, and you get the value down. Maybe you could turn this set into only a 60k set, right? If you, you convert their training or whatever into a pack something, and you pull some stuff, you convert their value, this whole value of the set, into 60k instead, because you made 60k off the training. So now you're looking at, or you just use the training. Now you're looking at whatever. What you, what you can do is even easier. Just however much training you get, convert that to coins per training, and that's how many coins you got in training, right? Subtract that, and that is going to be the total of what you did. So now you have Brandon Cooks and David Deal for 60k. No brainer. Now method four, method three, sorry. Method three, you keep all of them. So in method three, start over again, right? 528. 528s are total. Subtract uh, Keenan McCardle, which is 160. 160k, 368. So you, for 368k, you have Joe Namath now. This is if you keep Joe Namath. You have Joe Namath, Keenan McCardle, David Deal, James White, and Brandon Cooks for 368k. So let's say you're a guy who's like, I want Joe Namath. I'm a big Jets fan. I'm a Joe Namath fan. I wanted him. Even William Perry, you wanted him, right? You're going to buy him regardless. Why spend 270 on them? Well, for an additional, you know, 90K to 100K, depending, you can get Joe Namath and four 95, 95 overall players, right? Why go that route? I think it's much smarter to go ahead and take advantage of this set regardless. If you're going to get, in my opinion, if you're going to get any Super Bowl player, if you're going to buy a Super Bowl hero or Super Bowl master, always do the set. Now, again, you can only do it once because that free player is only one time. And then we're going to get Super Bowl present heroes. And then that, we're getting a free player for that as well. So it's going to be a repeatable process, you know, twice total. So in my opinion, guys, take advantage of the set. Like I said, you can't go wrong with it. If you want to buy Brandon Cooks, it costs more to buy any of these players just about than it would be to do the set and get all four of them. And if you want Joe Namath, do the set, right? For an extra 100K, you get all these. And if you really want, you can maybe, let's say you wanted Brandon Cooks. Maybe if you do the Joe Namath set, you can then go ahead and quick sell Keenan McCardle and James White and David Deal. Turn that training, maybe make back 60, 80K. And then now what it really came out to was about Joe Namath and an extra 20K for Brandon Cooks, like a discounted Brandon Cooks, right? There's so many ways to manipulate this set and go ahead and make coins. And like I said, they're all good players. And again, I don't really like Keenan McCardle or James White, but James White's a good backup or receiving back. David Deal's definitely a startable top tier guard. Brandon Cooks a startable top tier wide receiver. The only issues are Keenan McCardle, but Keenan McCardle has potential. I don't like him personally, but if you power him up and chem him up, you can take advantage of 94 speed with all route running and catching. He has a use, right, on some teams. Maybe not all teams, but there will be a use. Buccaneers themed teams, I believe Jaguars. But there's a use for him. I really, I personally really like him. I mean, I really like the set in general. Not not him. I I, I don't think I'd use the card personally, but there, there is a use for him. You know, kind of like an Andre Johnson-esque build for Madden terms. 
but yeah either way guys you guys don't have to use this there's multiple methods either you keep them all you keep some or you can also go ahead and just keep one right it, it's all up to you a lot of people aren't in on joe namath or william perry i personally like them so if you guys want to go ahead and get them make sure you take advantage of the set and you get the power up item as well but yeah and remember that when you do this set the method may be different right and what i mean by the method may be different is it's still the same but it's different how is that simple when you go to do the set kingdom of card will mainly be 140k but david deal also went down 30k and so did james white they all went down 30k so you're like oh these are cheaper am i making a profit no then you go check joe namath and joe namath is 200k or that's another thing. People are like, oh, Joe Namath's only 200K. It's not worth it anymore. Yeah, Joe Namath may be 200K, but Keenan McCardle went down 20K, and David Deal went down 25K, and James White went down 20K. They all went down 20K. So at the end of the day, the ratio is still the same. Instead of 280 to, you know, however much it costs, now it's here. So it ends up being the same thing. So just make sure you guys are doing the math and you check it out. Because there'll be times when the market's crashing or some kind of market implication happened, and that you could actually end up really messing this set up, right? Like a big crash has happened, and Joe Namath's price dropped before these cards dropped. So make sure everything's always in line. Do the math and make sure it works out. Because again, if you if you catch it at the wrong time or a big content drop, you may end up getting catching yourself in that situation where the market hasn't settled yet and you actually could have gotten better values. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe helps out a lot. So if you guys can just smash the like button and of course comment afterwards. If you do both, it helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot for the channel. And if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle for an additional bonus discount, or if you want to call it at checkout. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys have any questions, hit me up down below um, in the comment section or on Twitter. My DMs are always open. I'm out. Peace.